All right, uh, now we're going to quickly go over um, CCRP bombing in the uh, F-16. Um, so first things first, you got to get the plane into air-to-ground mode. So that's backspace by default to cycle your air-to-ground hardpoints. And then you got also got to make sure your uh, master arm's on. Um, if for some reason um, CCRP mode doesn't pop up here when you select your first air-to-ground weapon, you have to go down to your SMS page and either cycle profiles until you get to one that's CCRP, or if you don't have a profile set up for CCRP, you can just hit this top left button and select CCRP. Okay, so um, how um, CCRP bombing works in the F-16 is notice I have this vertical line right here. And uh, that will show me where I need to fly. I need to put my little flight path marker here right along this vertical line um, to drop a bomb on whatever my current sensor of interest is looking at. So in this case, my radar is my sensor of interest because it's got a white square around it. And you'll notice as I slew my radar cursor around, um, my CCRP uh, line there changes to tell me I need to fly in a different direction to be able to drop that bomb. Um, and uh, by default, your radar is slaved to whatever steer point you have selected. So I can only slew my radar in a selective area around this steer point before it hits the stop and it can't slew anymore. Um, so you'll notice if I select my next steer point, if I go to steer point six, my radar is looking up around uh, 2.6, and I can't get the cursor down here over the uh, target without hitting a stop. Um, so it's very important that you have the correct steer point selected, uh, or that you put a steer point over your target area for CCRP bombing. If you didn't for some reason, you can hit SP here and put your radar in a snowplow mode. And uh, after you put it in snowplow mode, you can hit TMS up and enable the cursor. And uh, now your radar isn't slaved to anything. It's just looking out straight in front of you. And you can see that uh, CCRP vertical is moving as well. Um, so to verify the target, make sure you drop bomb on the right thing. Hopefully you took a targeting pod. So I'll go ahead and pull up the targeting pod and turn it on here. And you'll notice by default, the targeting pod is also slaved to the radar. So let's say I want to drop a bomb on that um, radar dome looking thing right there. So uh, my radar is in snowplow mode, so um, I can either find the radar dome on my um, MFD here. Um, like so you see it's the little white dot right there. Um, or I can just visually check it on this MFD screen. And um, like I said earlier, the CCRP reticle goes after whatever your sensor of interest is. So if I wanted to drop a bomb on what my targeting pod was looking at instead of my radar, um, I would hit DMS down to make my targeting pod my sensor of interest. And then I would hit TMS um, up to put it into area mode. And now I can slew my targeting pod around independent of my radar. And now my uh, CCRP cursor is uh, directing off my targeting pod. So um, I'll go ahead and um, put my targeting pod on this radar dome and just leave it there. And now my CCRP reticle is telling me I need to fly to the left um, to drop a bomb on this target. So I'll go ahead and unpod. And I have to, all I have to do is put my flight path marker right along this line that goes vertically. And you'll notice in the bottom right here, there's a timer ticking down. Um, there will be two timers. This first timer that says 10 seconds left is my time to my lob. So you see this line coming down here. That means in three, two, one seconds, if I wanted to lob the bomb, right now, before that circle started flashing telling me I missed the queue, I'd hit full burner and I'd pull back and I could lob the bomb farther. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna wait the remaining 15 seconds here for that second timer. And you see this line coming down. As soon as our flight path marker meets that line, um, we can drop the bomb. You can actually hold the weapon release button before it hits you. And as soon as that line meets your flight path marker, it'll drop the bomb. Oh wow, my targeting pod actually locked onto my own bomb there. Um, either way, um, that's how you, uh, a little bit of the quick and dirty of how you drop bombs in a CCRP. And uh, the same goes for iron bombs as it does for laser guided bombs there. The only difference is with the laser guided bomb, I have to keep my targeting pod on the target and uh, the laser will automatically kick on and laser the target um, once the bomb gets about six seconds from impact. Uh, provided the targeting pod doesn't accidentally latch onto your own bomb. Again, if there's any questions, go ahead and ask again, and I'll do my best to uh, clarify. And again, uh, thanks for your attention.